What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, before this video starts, we all know that Black Friday is coming up. Right now, we have the biggest sale of the year. So we're gonna start off, obviously, with the Amersoft Video Converter Ultimate, which was $49.95, which is now $29.97. That's 40% off. Of course, you guys all know the iTube HD Video Downloader, which I also promoted earlier this year, which was $29, and right now it is only $17.40, and that's also 40% off as well. Now things are getting even better. The Amersoft DVD creator that was $39.95 was now $23.97. This bundle offer is gonna blow your mind. The Video Converter Ultimate Plus iTube HD Video Downloader, which was $78.95, is now only $39.46. That's 50% off. Don't miss out on these Black Friday deals. This deal ends on November 30th. Go ahead and claim your deal. Visit the Amersoft Holiday Sale page for more amazing deals. So with that being said, Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a couple tips that I've collected in order for you to improve your editing, to actually take your videos to a whole new level. If you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. I would say let's get started as always right after the intro. What's poppin' guys? My name is Alex. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create a clone effect, but that's gonna be next level. I know over the past couple of years, I made multiple videos about how to clone yourself. It's always the same concept, but this kind of cloning, I've never done it before. So if you go... <coughs> I need a... Uh... I need my sunglasses. You need. <coughs> I, uh... I'll go. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Okay guys, so if you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and I would say let's get started right after the intro. Hey guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 16 and I'm gonna explain to you guys exactly how to recreate this amazing effect that you guys have seen in the intro. Basically, what we want to do is, first of all, like always, boot up Vegas Pro. I'm gonna also explain to you guys how to film this. So the first thing that you wanna do, and maybe that's something you noticed or maybe you didn't. So the first thing you need to do is have two video uh, clips. One is the first one of you sitting in front of a green screen in your set. You're gonna sit in your chair and you have a green screen behind you of the exact same room and you want to do everything in one take. Let's go ahead and say that we will actually, for example, like do our intro. Then what we need to do is we also want to set the lighting to manual because we don't want to have a clip of us talking to the camera be a lot brighter than the person coming back or your clone coming into the background like a lot darker. So what you want to do then is just do your intro, pretend that you're talking to the guy that's coming in the door. That's what I did as well. So the first thing what you need to do is do that and then you just want to also remove the green screen, remove your chair and any other objects that are in the screen. So then you just want to pretend that you will just forgot something. And this is just me walking in and pretending that I forgot my sunglasses and then I'm just acting like an idiot as you can see right there and then I'm just leaving. So that's basically how it's done. So now what we need to do is first drag in both clips and we're gonna have the green screen clip on top. Now what we need to do, it is uh, really, really important, is right click, properties, click on disable resample, and you want to also do that for the second track, like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add in a little bit more brightness and contrast. We're going to go into the video effects tab. Then we're going to scroll down until we see a brightness and contrast. And I also have just a video template that I'm going to apply onto it, which is going to apply a little bit more contrast, as you can see, like that. And we're going to also do that for the bottom track. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to mask ourselves out so we will have so we will be transparent. So now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the event pan crop icon of the green screen track. Then we're going to hit mask at the bottom, but we're not going to select, for example, the rectangle square mask creation tool. We're going to pick the anchor creation tool. We're going to just go ahead and go uh, around ourselves in the green screen. Make sure that we'll just go across the entire green part like that. And then what we need to do is just go ahead and go 
go across the entire green screen, just go all outside of the screen like that, and then just make them cross like that. Boom. Okay, so now that we've masked out ourselves, we need to remove the green. So right now we're going to scroll down until we see the chroma key feature, which is under the video effects tab. So let's see right here, we have chroma key, let's drag on the default clip onto all well, the default preset onto the green screen clip. And we're going to uncheck the chroma key for a second, then click on this blue bar, pick this pencil icon and pick a nice green part like that. Now what we need to do is recheck the chroma key, but we need to optimize a couple things. Drag down the uh, high threshold like that. And then we're going to bring up the low threshold as you can see. So now you want to do that much until the background is gone. Okay, so right now, as you can see, it seems that we're just sitting in front of our computer without a green screen in the room itself, but we're actually sitting in front of a green screen. And that's the trick because you don't want to move your camera a single inch when you want to do this. Otherwise, you're going to see the difference if you lower the opacity, because if I lower this up, if you, if you pay attention to the background, everything is just the same. But now that we have actually cropped out ourselves, we're going to put on our headphones because we're going to time it when I'm going to uh, cuff at the back and then when I'm just talking and getting interrupted. So let me put on my headphones. All right, let's see, let's time it. So I'm gonna cut it right here. What's poppin' guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. In this learning, I've never done it before. So if you got... So as you can see, that's where I'm pretending to be uh, interrupted. So now I'm gonna just trim this guy down until I'm just peeking in the door and I'm cuffing. Like that. Okay, so let's time it. Before. So if you got... <coughs> That looks perfect. Before. So if you got <coughs> That's a little bit too late. So I'm just gonna align it. Before. So if you got <coughs> I need a uh... As you can see. I need my sunglasses. What do you need? <coughs> I uh I'll go. But as you can see, I'm just looking right there. I'm just going, I would. I just want to follow that character by looking right there, but it doesn't match because I'm already there, as you can see, taking the sunglasses, but I'm still looking to the right. So what we need to do is we need to cut it. So right there, I'm just stand, uh, standing still. And then I'm just gonna time it until I'm looking uh, to the backside. I need my sunglasses. What do you need? Like that, then I'm gonna time it. Uh I need my sunglasses. What do you need? I, uh... That's what it looks like. What do you need? Look, I, I'm uh... following it. I'll go. I'll... And then I'm just cutting again, as you can see. <sighs> Alright. Okay, guys, so if you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure... All right, guys, so that's basically how to do it. This is basically how you can actually remove the green screen as you can see that you're sitting in front of just pretending that you're on the background and then just act like your clone is coming in and doing the, uh, the same stuff. And I know I'm like wearing different clothes, uh, but that's just, you, got, you guys get the idea. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and if you wanna see more of those awesome advanced tutorials. So guys, that's it, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Welcome back to a brand new tutorial. In this video, we're gonna create this amazing pullback from a screen effect, which is going to look just like that. So now that we are in Vegas Pro 16, this is basically what you will need. Two clips. One, you need to do the original intro, and once you are done uh, making your clip in order to recreate this effect, is you need to look into the camera for a couple of seconds, like this. Just a few seconds, I don't know, maybe like three or four. And then what you want to do is stop filming. And then you need to go ahead and take your camera. Well, it's actually on the tripod right now, but I'm just going to take my phone. So you just want to basically, I'm just going to show you guys a little different. All right, so you're going to take your camera and you're going to make sure that you will align it as much as you can, as you can see with the video. So once that is done, you want to just start filming. Then you want to do is you want to basically pull back. Aim it at yourself and you want to start filming and now the footage, as you can see, is out of the screen and you can do whatever you want. And if you want to go back, you can just basically, for example, like zoom in real quick, make sure that it is nice and aligned. You can just practice a couple times if you want to. Then you want to do is basically email this clip to yourself. It is that simple and I'm just, I'm just going to just show you guys exactly how to edit that. 
All right, so now that we have imported the clip into Vegas Pro, this is basically what it looks like. So this is just me positioning the camera, making sure that it is just perfect. And then what you want to do is you just want to pull back, as you can see, and then you can just continue filming. So it is that easy to create this effect, guys. You just want to basically make sure that your camera is aligned just as equal because you don't want to see a difference between the camera aiming at the monitor and the video itself. And obviously there is a little bit of contrast difference because this is a little bit more uh, as you can see, uh, darker than that one. But you can just fix that with color grading and lot filters and brightness and contrast and all of that. So that's basically how you want to do it. Pause it right here, cut it, and then we're gonna basically trim this guy down. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna time it. So as you can see, the only difference is the color not really matching. And this one is a little bit, you know, clearer than that one. But but that's because I have just the standard settings on my camera with, when I aim it to my monitor. But that's basically how it's done, guys. It is that simple. Just make sure to zoom out really, really fast. And then you can just continue the video. And if you want to reverse that, you're vlogging, for example, you want to go back into the video. You just want to repeat that motion, show it to the screen, then cut it. And that's basically how it's done, guys. Check it out. So that's it for this really, really short tutorial, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. So if this video was helpful to you, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. What's poppin' guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. In this video, we're gonna see how to make this amazing GTA 5 map transition. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 16, but we need some footage in order to make that transition. So what we need for this is a screenshot from Google Earth. So just open up a new tab in your browser, and then you can just go to Google Earth, create that screenshot, and then once you've done that, you just want to save that to your computer, and we're gonna drag that into Vegas Pro. All right, so this this is basically the screenshot of beautiful Manhattan. And what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, click on the event pan crop icon, and then we're going to zoom in all the way. Well, not too much. Otherwise, if you're going to do it like that, we're going to lose a lot of quality. So just go ahead and for example, do it like this. That looks really, really nice. So then what we need to do is we need to make that zoom out switch to another place and zoom back in. But we're gonna also add in some clouds, you know, for details. So first we're gonna start off with the motion. Right now we have this. So what we need to do now is click on this timeline right here. And then you want to just, for example, make it a little bit bigger, not too big. So now let's see what it looks like. But it's a little bit too fast. So we're gonna move this keyframe further from the from the beginning. So it's gonna be slower like that, as you can see. But we want to have a smooth zoom out. So we're gonna right click on this keyframe and we're gonna hit smooth. So let's see what it looks like. Boom. So now what we need to do is we need to actually wait, for example, almost a second in order to make that transition to a different place of the map. So what we're going to do is we're going to click right here and then we're going to create a keyframe. So it's going to create a keyframe on this exact same position. And then right here, we can actually move it to a different place, for example, like that. So let's see what it looks like. And now we need to add in the zoom in, but we also need to make sure that all the keyframes in this entire timeline are smooth. Now we need to actually create a zoom in, for example, right here. And now we're going to zoom in all the way. So let's see what it looks like. That looks really, really nice, but we need to actually make the pause a little bit longer. So what we need to do is just move these keyframes a little further. So it's going to stay in the air quite a bit longer. So we have time right here to zoom in and actually add in the clouds. So we're going to also do it like that. All right, let's see what it looks like. Boom, as you can see, that is how amazing it looks, guys. It is pausing in the air right there, and then it's going to zoom in, and it's gonna go back into the other place. But now what we need to do is we need to animate and add in these clouds. So you can just go to Google, type in clouds PNG, and you wanna download a couple. So I'm gonna drag in that one. This is basically what it looks like, but we need to make it a little bit more realistic. So we're gonna click on the track motion icon of the cloud. You wanna also make sure that the clouds are on top of the actual track where the clip is of the city. So now we're gonna click on track motion, 
ocean. And now what we need to do is we can use this box to move the clouds around. So I'm going to place them right here. And I'm going to also turn them just a little bit. So now that we did that is we're going to also add in the second clouds. So you want to make sure that you just add in different clouds. So now we're going to also do the for that second cloud, we're going to also click on track motion, I'm going to turn it just a little bit. And we're going to, for example, place them right here. And now obviously, you can just lower the opacity if you really want to I'm going to lower it to, for example, like 78. I think that looks really, really nice. Okay, so let's see what happens right now. We're going to make sure that we will make the clouds appear when it stopped zooming. So it's going to be a thing right here. Then we're going to also make the clouds fade in like that. So now we're going to also make the clouds stop appearing when it is actually zooming into the new place. There we go. It's going to start zooming, cut it. And then we're going to also add in a fade out just like that. Make sure that both fades are equal as long. So now let's see what we have. That looks really, really cool. But what we need to do is we need to, we can also make the clouds zoom in from the screen like they're coming out of the, it's really difficult to explain, but I'm just gonna show you how that works. So we're gonna start off by zooming all the way in, and then we're gonna just click, for example, right here, and we're gonna hit restore. Let's see what happens to the right cloud. So we're gonna also do that for the second cloud. Zoom in all the way in, then create a keyframe around right here, Click restore and now they're just zooming in, for example. So that looks really, really cool, but it is actually shot in the air and the clouds are not even like moving a little bit. So we're gonna make sure that the clouds are just going around, for example, like that. In order to do that is we're gonna click on the event pan crop icon. And as usual, we're gonna click right here on this timeline and we're gonna just move the clouds just a little bit. So then we're gonna click on the uh, timeline, create a keyframe a little further, position it a different place. And you just wanna keep doing that. You wanna just recreate this, like this floating animation. That's what we're gonna do. I'm just going to keep placing the keyframes uh, like that. Boom, as you can see. And now we can also do that for the other cloud. This is what it looks like, but it's moving a little bit too fast, as you can see. All right, let's see if you spread them a little more, what that looks like. There we go. All right, as you can see, the cloud is just moving just a little bit, tiny bit. That's what we can also do for the second cloud. Do it like this, create a keyframe a little further, another one right there, and a last one right here. All right, let's see what it looks like. Boom, as you can see, the clouds are just moving. That's really, really nice. And the clouds are disappearing when it zooms in again. So that's a really, a really cool technique, guys. How you actually go ahead and create this awesome transition from another town to another city. That's basically how it works, guys. So let's say that you want to go out and make a travel video. You can use this. You can actually create a screenshot from the location where you're at. Don't do it at your house because people will actually find out where you live. For example, in Manhattan or in West New York, you can just create a screenshot in there. And let's say like, guys, today we're going to go out and go have a shopping day we're going to start off in for example like west new york you can actually create a transition from that place to that place that's a really really cool transition guys i hope this video was helpful to you make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and i would say i'll see you guys in my next video